Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to tell you something. Something that is very, very important. I want to tell you that stop crying and also stop worrying. The third party is going to leave your relationship. Stop crying and also stop worrying. The third party is going to leave your relationship. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There is someone here that is watching me right now. You have been through a lot when it comes to your relationship. You have put in all your effort trying to make your relationship to be perfect. But your partner keeps giving you hard time. Your partner keeps giving you hard time and that really makes you feel down. That really broke you. The third party keeps giving you hard time and it really hurts you so much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. It really hurts you so much. And you don't know what to do right now. You feel like you are losing everything all the time and all the effort that you have put in in this relationship. So I want to tell you that stop crying and stop worrying yourself. There is a reason for everything. You are not going to lose that relationship. I take it again, you are not going to lose that relationship because God has taken in charge of your relationship. God has taken charge of your relationship. He is working on your partner. God is working on your partner. And this time around, your partner is coming back. Your partner is coming back. He is going to be so committed to you is going to be so loyal he's going to be so respectful he's going to be so respectful amen so i don't want you to feel bad or cry all the time because you really cry a lot you're asking yourself so many questions like what is happening who is this person that is making my 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 my, my person not to have time in me who is this person that is taking all the interest in my partner life but I am here to assure you that this person is only wasting they are only wasting their time when the time is right your partner is coming back to you your partner is coming back to you and nobody will stand on the way nobody will be able to stop it nobody will be able to make you cry again in the name of Jesus as you are watching this video I want you to connect yourself connect yourself to the throne of grace you know the devil came to steal to kill and to destroy you were so much in love with this person your story goes like you were so much in love with this person you guys used to play a lot you guys used to do so many funny things together you love going out together there are a lot of things that the both of you love doing the relationship was so sweet and everybody keep talking about this relationship like wow i really admire this couple they look so beautiful the way they do their things is so sweet it's so amazing they begin to say a lot of things about you and your person amen people are saying a lot of things about you and a lot of things about you and your person and these things are beautiful comments that they make for the two of you and the devil was jealous the devil was so jealous that the, the devil cannot take it anymore. The devil was so jealous. And the devil decided to visit your relationship by using another person. That is, that is the third party coming in. The devil decided to visit your relationship for this person to come in and bring destruction. John 10.10 10 says he came to steal and to kill and to destroy but I want to assure you that Jesus will save your relationship because he died on the cross for all the things that we, we have done wrong. So, God is going to save your relationship for your partner to come back to you. Your partner is going to come running back to you because your partner still loves you so very much. Amen. Your partner still loves you so very much and your partner cannot do without you hallelujah your partner is going to come back your partner is going to come looking for you your partner is going to send the, the third party out 
of his mind that you don't have any place in my heart i have someone that i love so much i am going back to meet my person that is what your partner is going to say to the third party after saying that he will say it with faith and then he will come running back to you he will come running back to you in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the name of the lord thank you jesus don't cry again stop crying and stop being worried stop worrying yourself stop crying and stop worrying yourself this you the both of you are going to reconnect you are going to reconnect and be back together you are going to reconnect and be back together in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah praise the name of the lord our father we bless your holy name we give you all the praise we give you all the adoration just just have faith in god just keep trusting in him he is the alpha and omega and the beginning and the end there is none like him hallelujah if you are seeing me for your very first time this is prophetic word with adel i just want to appreciate each and every one of you my new subscribers and my returning subscribers that god will bless you so much for being part of this amazing family i am so grateful having each and every one of you here because you guys are so amazing you guys do a lot of beautiful things in this house by liking the video by commenting and by also subscribing thank you so much god will bless you for me i just want to use another opportunity to thank each and every one of you that have so seen in my life for my upcoming wedding next month august i just want to thank you guys so much for these amazing things that you guys have done for me a lot of you have so seen amazing seed in my life I am so grateful because I am putting my things together. It was an instruction for our father. And most of you have most of you have passed your test by sowing your seed. Yeah. So God is going to bless you for sowing your seed. After the wedding, we will be praying for each and every one of you. And for those that are still to sow, I want to make I want to tell you something before you drop that seed, before you sow a seed connect the seed to your heart and ask god and tell and talk to god whatever thing that you want that seed to do for you trust me it is an instruction you are going to receive that thing in the mighty name of jesus so what are you waiting for go ahead and drop your seed super stickers are open paypal is open and cash app is open there is a power in giving he loved those that are cheerful giver it is for the wedding guys the seed that you are sowing is for the wedding we are going to be feeding so many people we are going to be feeding so many people so you see the seed that you are going to sow and the seed that you are dropping in my life is not for me is for the people out there and is for the wedding people are coming to eat and they will drink so as they are eating god knows that you connected you connect uh, your seed to this eating that this person is eating and you know when people are eating they are pouring their blessings that oh this food as i eat the hands i give let god bless it abundantly so it is going to go a long way it's going to do something amazing in your life please do not this uh, this i just want you to just understand that god is going to do it for you the same way he did it for me I never lose hope i keep praying i say god for it is for what you have kept for me it will definitely come to me for what is for me it will be for me for what is mine nobody will be able to take it yes there will be so many third party food party feed party they will try to manipulate it but when the time comes that you say my child this is the moment that i am blessing you with this my gift so take it at that time no demon mm -mm -mm no demon from the pit of hell will be able to come close 
because God has already worked on that person. That person will just be looking step party and the rest. Like, what kind of thing? Who are you? I don't want to see you anymore. Please stay away. I have my wife I want to take care of. I have my kids I want to take care of. You see, when you that is how your person will be telling you will be talking to the third party and casting them out in the name of Jesus. Please do not forget to sow a seed in this video. I just said it all. Do not forget to sow a seed in this video because we are going to be we are going to be feeding a lot of people for the wedding. Amen. The money for the wedding, the seed that you are sowing for the wedding is not for me. I am not taking a dime on it. I am going to spread it out for people to eat and enjoy and drink because marriage can be warm. It's an opportunity that it comes warm. So please do not hesitate to sow. After the marriage, I believe you are you are going to be next in Jesus mighty name. Thank you so much for watching. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, I thank you for the life of your children, Lord. Thank you for making them connecting, oh God. May you answer that prayer request show the clarity and confirmation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for those that don't have, bless them in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now may the good Lord keep you because his face to shine on you. May he give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Always remember to pray. If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Always remember that God loves those that are cheerful giver. When you give it cheerfully, God will bless you cheerfully in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay blessed.